This morning, I want to just share with us some practical ways, biblical ways to conquer our fears. Let's begin quick uh, and go through these five things very simply, very quickly. Number one, confront your fears. That is to recognize and acknowledge that, you know, I'm afraid about it. As long as we refuse to take action against it, you know, it's going to persist. Throughout the Bible, God repeatedly says, fear not. He repeatedly says, fear not. Now, fear not is not a passive thing that, hmm, I'm not afraid. Fear not is an active thing. You are intentionally choosing not to be afraid. It means you are taking action. So God's call, God's instruction of fear not is actually a call to action. For you to confront your fear and say, I am choosing not to be, fear, be afraid in this situation. So confront it. You say, I will not fear in this situation. Number two is to call on God. You go to him for help, to help you conquer your fear. Call on him. Look at what the psalmist said in Psalm 34 and verse 4. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. God, this is what I'm afraid about. This is what's bothering my mind. This is what's causing fear in my mind. So I sought the Lord and he heard me. And he delivered me from all my fears. One instruction, an important instruction God has given us in his word, is for us to confess his word. To confess his word means that we speak his word. We declare his word with our mouth. And he's taught that throughout the Old and the New Testament. And I will bring our attention just to two passages this morning uh, to let us know why. Uh, to let us know the, the fact that God says, I want you to confess my word. I want you to speak my word. I want you to declare my word. Because when we do that, it's creating an opportunity for God to work in our lives. It's releasing the power of the word of God to work in our lives. The Bible tells us, but the righteousness of faith speaks in this way. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down from above, or who will descend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart, that is the word of faith which we preach, that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So how do we put that word to work? He says, my word is near you. Don't say God is in heaven or God is down there. My word is near you is what God is saying. It's in your heart. It's in your mouth. Believe it in your heart. Say it with your mouth. You will experience my saving work. Number four is to cast down wrong thoughts and imaginations. You know, we must understand how thoughts control us. So a thought of fear, a fear-producing thought comes into your mind. And if that thought is not captured, the thought becomes an imagination. And if you don't deal with that imagination, the imagination progresses to becoming an argument or a reasoning in your mind. And if that is not dealt with, it eventually becomes a stronghold and an occupied territory in your mind. See, the Bible tells us, 2 Corinthians 10, verse 4 and 5, it says, The weapons of our warfare, let's read it, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God for pulling down strongholds. Casting down arguments and every, every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. And bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. And number five, live in a place of communion with God. Commune with God. About communing with God, Psalm 32 verse 7. The psalmist said, let's say it out together. You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. So you say, God, you are my place of refuge. You are my hiding place. You are going to surround me with songs of deliverance. You are my deliverer. 
So you live in that place of communion with God. You're resting in Him. And you can live free from fear. Amen.